I'm using long arms in a minigames lobby, and if anybody catches me cheating, I have to give them 10,000 shiny rocks. They decided to play Ding Dong Ditch, which means the tagger has to hide in this little box, wait for them to ring the doorbell, and then chase them back to the shelf. I'm starting off with 120% arm length, and they have no idea. This is one of the five challenges that I have to do, and this one is the least crazy. If I lose even one of these, I'm forced to use short arms for two weeks straight. You see, when I was a kid, I was bullied for having short arms. Every day, I tried to reach for the monkey bars, but I couldn't, and I was left out. This time, I'm not letting that happen. Okay, let's go. Ding on ditch. Oh no, wait, no, 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 no. They were cheating the first round, so I just counted it as a win. If I can do that two more times, then I've completed the challenge. All right, now I have to increase my arm length. They went from 120% to 140%, and I will continue to increase it like this every round. Ding dong ditch. Ding dong ditch. I made it, I made it. I increased my arm length to 160%. Wait, this, don't touch it, don't touch it. Ding dong ditch, ding dong ditch. I made it, I made it. Hey, that guy's no, over there, he's no. alive. He's hacking, he's hacking. My arms were now the max length possible, and that's when I noticed. Why are you, why are you pointing at me? If this guy says that I'm using long arms, I have to give him 10,000 shiny rocks. Why, stop pointing at me, bro. Click on menu button. I don't have a menu, see? Menu, I don't have anything. Are you playing on Steam? Yes. This guy's so suspicious. Ding dong ditch! Ding dong ditch! Ding dong ditch! <laughs> that was the final round, which means that I won. Dude, he was so close to winning 10,000 shiny rocks. What? I was literally getting ready to leave when all of a sudden. Bruh, he's hacking, bro. I'm not using. I'm not hacking. Well, how do you put like mud long arms, bro? He's using Steam. He's using Steam. You think I'm using freaking long arms right now? Well, you're using Steam and you got the mods. Your ball's full right now. That was the exact thing that he needed to say. Even though I won the challenge, I still felt bad for cheating in their lobby, so I decided to give him the 10,000 shiny rocks anyway. What if I told you that I'm gonna give 10,000 shiny rocks to the first person who pointed it out? You're tripping. No, I'm, I'm being for real, wait. I'm actually doing it, bro. Oh. <laughs> Goodbye, guys. I'm sorry. I'm really sorry I cheated in your lobby. That was the end of the first challenge, but this is not even close to over. What you don't know about long arms is it can be a disadvantage as well. You can make it so that your arms are actually shorter, and that's exactly what I'm doing. My new disguise, Faz Burrito. My arms are 30% shorter than they usually are. For me to win this next challenge, I have to be the last one alive, even with this disadvantage. And this is how I'm gonna have to play for two weeks if I lose more than one of these challenges. This is gonna be tough. I ran into forest and immediately noticed... Oh my gosh, it's already difficult. I'm like 10 times slower. I'm furry? Get away from me. Bro, did you call me a furry? I'm Faz Barrington. Don't you know the difference? Finally, red got tagged and the real challenge would now begin. Okay, this is the this is a real time o'clock. I made my way to the top and started looking for a spot to hide. I'm going to just hide here. I'm I am very scared. I ran behind the stump, and the only person who saw me was this guy. That was the sound of the person who just saw me getting tagged. He's coming for me! No, wait, I was the last one? Yep. Yay! The next challenge I have to do is kiss your mom. Oh wait, I already did that. Now we're gonna flip the script a little bit. Instead of being the last one alive, I'm gonna try to tag 10 people using short arms within 15 minutes. Oh boy. I joined the first lobby, but I made a crucial mistake. <gasps> I had forgotten to put on a disguise. No, 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 no. <laughs> I accidentally joined and I forgot to put on a disguise. Goodbye guys, nice to meet you. Don't tell anybody about this. Oops! I left the lobby and put on a real disguise. Hey guys, it's me, Trout VR. I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. It's me, Trout VR. I'm stupid, I'm stupid, I'm stupid. I joined the first lobby and started the timer. Go, 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 go. I looked around for somebody to tag and I found my first target. I chased after him. I did not realize that he was a worthy foe. Get that guy! We made it to the walls, started going up, and that's when I realized it was infinitely harder to wall run with short arms than it was with long arms. I somehow scurried up the wall onto the same branch, and that's when I tripped. Pretty much giving him a free pass to get away. I'm out here. It's not enough time. I don't have time to catch this guy. One minute down, zero tags. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I was trying to leave, and that's when... Oh, I got picked as the first to tag, which means I can tag literally every single person on the board and gather pretty much all of the points required. Perfect! I spotted a group of people and ran straight at them. One, two, three, 
for. That guy right there is the guy I was trying to tag earlier. This time, I would get my revenge. Five. At this point, there were only two people left in the lobby, and that's when I spotted Blue. I ran to double planks. I saw him run by the gazebo. He jumped over my head, breaking my ankles, but made the crucial mistake of not pushing off the tree. I did what had to be done. I only had to tag four more people, so I ran to join a different lobby. I walked out, realized the lobby was glitched, and walked right back in. I joined a different lobby, spotted my target, and went to open a can. But not just any can, a can of tag. Seven. After falling for the easiest juke known to man, I had successfully gotten him. Eight. I frantically looked around for the final guy. I spotted him, but so did everybody else. He ran to the walls, which is one of Short Arm's many counters. After trying to lose me on the walls for a bit, he eventually messed up, tried to gain some height, but I was able to cut him off. Only one person remained. The round restarted, and I couldn't believe my luck because I was tagged first again. But don't count your chickens before they hatch, because all of a sudden my game lagged and I thought it was over. What? What happened? Thankfully, it came back, and I could continue my pursuit of the last person. I decided to go after Pink, but they ran into a cave. It was too risky to leave. I saw two people trying to wall climb. I caught them off guard and decided the pursuit. GG. Only two challenges remain, but these two are the hardest. I have to go into beach with long arms, gaslight them into thinking I'm perfectly normal, try to teach people, and let the lessons get progressively more out of pocket. I'm gonna make the lessons so unbelievable that it's going to be like a miracle for me to convince anybody. Step one, find some poor sap to torture. Does anybody need tips on how to play the game? This might actually be the hardest part. Green, do you need any help learning beach map? Uh, I mean, kind of. What do you want to learn? Yeah. Well, I can teach you how. To oh, okay. Okay. I have to wait for him to grab a new controller battery, and hopefully he doesn't disappear. And so I patiently waited for Minty to get his battery. I got bored, so I just kind of cheered people on in the meantime. Run! Run away! Until eventually, I went down to check on him, and he was gone. I thought he'd left the game, but just then. Okay, wait, wait. He had completely forgotten about my fake lessons. Wait, Minty, Minty, let me show you. Let me teach you. Let me teach you. He doesn't have a mod menu, look. He can water run like that. I'll to I'll teach you. Do you want me to teach you? I'll teach you a way that you can do this way faster than what he's doing. Look. Well, you got some long arms. Yeah, I know. After almost getting caught, I started the first fake lesson. The first thing you want to do, literally, is just put your arms out to the side, and then you just kind of like walk like a penguin. That literally only works if you have long arms, bro. I can barely do that. So there is one thing I know. A scheme formed in my mind. There's a way to do that better. Watch this, watch this, you ready? You can do that way, way, way faster if you make, make noises while you're doing it. Because, like, for some reason, if you're talking, it'll send more data to the server. When you're sending more data to the server, it'll allow you to, like, move way faster. So watch this, watch this, watch this. Now you have to do it like this, you have to do it like this, look. See, look how high I went. I think it depends on, like, the, the like, type of noise you make as well, but I'm not sure. Minty, Minty, come back. I have some, I have one last thing to teach you. The last thing you can do, you can dive really fast into the water. If you like roll around on the ground, call this the uh, street paver. Like, so you dive in the water and then watch what I do, okay? And that's the last thing. If you can get it down, then, then that's it. Like, you know everything. Yeah, okay, now, now do this on the bottom, watch. So basically funny running on the bottom of the water? Yes. That, it has no benefit whatsoever unless, unless you have long arms and you just go over extra fast. I felt bad about teaching him all these fake things, so I decided to just confess to him. I mean, yeah, I have something to tell you. I made all that up. I'm, I'm going to be for real. I'm so sorry. No, 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 no. Get away from me, bro. I'm sorry. Do you forgive me? Yeah. Leave while you still can. I have a 18. Okay, bro. Okay. Wait. You put it down. We'll, we'll leave aside our differences. It's a peaceful solution. We shake hands. We walk the other direction. Okay. Nice to meet you. 
Goodbye. No, oh my god! No, no! It was time for the final challenge. Do you remember earlier when I mentioned that wall running is the most difficult thing to do with short arms? The only thing more difficult than wall running with short arms is wall running the whole map 10 times with short arms. My arms are now short. My arms were so short that I couldn't even wall climb up to stump. This is literally the last thing we need to do. Let's go. That's a big wall. And without further ado, I started lap one. Oh no, dude, I can't. This is so difficult. I was slowly making it around, but then this happened. No, 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 no. Okay, okay. My arms are so little, I have to, like, push incredibly hard. Right as I thought I was getting some traction back, I came across this challenge's antagonist. <sighs> No, this is what I like to call cube corner. These two square angles prevent you from going around smoothly, forcing you to use a special technique called side throwing. I restarted the lap and faced cube corner again. I think speed is key, like Jacksepticeye always told me. I bounced on the wall for a little bit before taking the leap of faith and making the jump. This is literally the first ever side throw with short arms. Let's go. Ooh. Ooh. I got it, I got it, I got it. This is the hard part. I did it. After passing Cube Corner, I started relearning how to go around the map, as everything is now more than twice as big from my perspective. The second hardest area on this journey is Pinch Climb Peak. Usually pinch climbing is the easiest skill in Gorilla Tag, but with my short arms, it becomes one of the most difficult. I was so worried that I was gonna fall that I reverted back 10 billion years. But eventually, after many careful pushes, I was able to progress. This is the last stretch, let's go. Yes, that was one. That was one. We have to do that nine more times. I started lap two and made it around without any issues. This was looking like it was going to be easy. That's two, that's two, that's two. This is getting way too easy. I decided to make my arms even shorter, making the challenge harder than it already was. Oh my gosh, dude, my arms are all the way out. I can barely touch the floor. I made it to cube corner, this time with my arms shorter than ever. Whew. Okay. Oh, I barely made that. It wasn't over though, as I now had the best pinch climb peak. Come on, come on, come on. Whew. No. Oh, come on, I was right there. I did lap three again, this time successfully going across. Finally, six of those more to go. Now I'd love to show you all of these, but there's only so interesting going around in a circle can be. So instead, I'm just going to show you this clip from round five. This might actually be the hardest thing that I've done. Come on, bro. You have to subscribe. You please, please. Okay. There's two more. These are the last two laps. I set my short arms to max and got to work. I was ready to stop all the suffering and win the challenge, hoping that this isn't how I would be spending the next two weeks. Yes. Okay. This is the last one. Let's go! I ran past the beginning wall, going around and winding up at Cube Corner. I've actually never been this high up before. I don't know if this is good or bad. All five of the challenges have been leading up to this one throw. Side throw. Whew. Let's go, let's go, let's go. There was no time for celebration though, as I started rapidly losing height. Oh, oh, come on. That, oh, dude, that was so scary. I continued around the wall and pinch climbed for the last time. This is the really, really hard part. Switching this corner right here. Final stretch. We did it! We did it! It's over! Ow! Yes! My hand is in pain, but we did it! I've done everything that long arms can possibly do. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next week.